Hello folks. You know, having almost hit several deer on several different nights while driving to the skating rink in Sioux Falls, I was actually trying to get some of that on video. I didn't make it with the phone. Well, I have my deer alerts installed, and I know that the deer probably hear me coming as they're looking right at me, but nonetheless, I'm being also quite alert. Besides the deer, there's also some pretty wild drivers around here. So I was watching some crashes on TV that were videoed using the HD mirror cam and decided to give it a try. In some of the countries I've visited, it is actually required to have a dash cam, but they seem a bit awkward looking and why I never really got one before. Well, in the case with the HD mirror cam, I find it quite nice looking, came with a long enough of a power wire and it really has no effect on my visibility. The mirror itself is very high quality and has an anti-glare film on it for nighttime. I was amazed that it was as flat as it is and not wavy like some mirrors. Also, it was actually very easy to hook up, but there are a few things you need to know. Well, first, here's a look at it. It clips onto your existing mirror with some rubber band grips and it seems very secure. Up here on the mirror. It stretches all the way around. that. That's nice and tight. The other one on this side. That stretches all the way around like that. The wire is easily connected to the window or frame with the included clips, albeit I think there should have been more of them included. Well the screen is built right in so you can actually see what it's recording. And from that screen there are menus that can be read and videos played back too. There are menus to adjust the resolution of the pictures or videos. Pictures can be set up to 5 megapixel and videos can be set from 780p or 640p. Still pictures can be taken at an instant but just by pushing the button, but only if the video is recording. There is also a setting to adjust the volume and turn off the mic if you want. I normally have the mic off. There is also a setting to turn on the motion detect. Okay, you can see the little motion icon here. Now, if I run my hand in front of it, see, it starts recording. So if somebody was to tamper with your car, it will start recording. The unit must remain on for this to work, though. There is a built-in battery that will operate the unit for an hour or more, but it'll work for much longer with the motion detect and the screensaver on. There is nothing in the manual that shows how to shut off the display while driving, but that is easy too. You simply turn the screen saver on. I set mine to go off in one minute. It's a whole lot less distracting with the screen off, especially at night. So see the display is off now. So you can continue to drive and it's still recording. That's great at night. There is also a way to lock down the video so it won't erase itself. A 32 gig card, which is not included, will record for about 17 hours before it begins erasing files automatically, starting with the oldest first, unless you have them locked, so to save them. Well, another ingenious innovation is that if you're in an accident, a built-in G sensor automatically locks down and saves the file so it can't be deleted. Also, the SD card can be removed or the unit can actually be plugged into a computer to watch those files. There are also two infrared LEDs that allow it to see in the dark and they can be switched on or off with just one button. Turn on the night vision. Oh, look at that. Of course, the best way to protect it is a little Adam's Brilliant Glaze. Well, here's some of the video footage so you can see how it actually recorded. It looks like, I don't know, I couldn't tell. I saw it in the rearview mirror, it looked like it had a few lights on it or something.
The pros are many, but there is a few I want to tell you about. First, it's really easy to install. Also, the camera swivels 350 degrees, so you look in the back seat or at somebody who is approaching your driver's door. Also, the price is only $49.95 and that's a plus. The mirror is actually excellent and works very well at night too with its anti-glare. Well, the cons are this. The automatic start up only works if you have your adapter plugged into a cigarette lighter plug that turns on and off with a key. Turning on the ignition. It turns on. And it begins recording. So if your car's cigarette lighter is on all the time, then you're going to have to start the camera manually by pushing the power button once you begin to drive. If you want to use the motion detector, it must run on the built-in battery. In my case, my Chrysler has two cigarette lighter plugs. One is on all the time and one is not. So if I actually decided to turn on the motion detector in a parking lot for days, I could unplug the adapter from the switched one and place it in the one that is constantly on. Also, the 720p doesn't seem to be as clear as I thought it should be, and the sound has some scratchy noise in it. But all in all, this may save you in the event of an accident, a bad call from a cop, or somebody breaking into your car. In my case, I really like it. So I hope this helps your decision making. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more.